Hey YouTube. All right, day two of the painting. So the second coat went on much, much better. I thinned it with the reducer my way. Um, so this time I went ahead and went about 20 ounces. Yeah, it was probably about 20 ounces um, of paint. And then I went four capfuls of the hardener. And then I went about four ounces of the reducer. Night and day difference. It's pretty beautiful. Um, zero clogging, zero spitting, um, everything laid down nice and smooth, as you can see, the oil canister and all, I mean everything came out, yeah, beautiful, trim rings, nice smooth, so I'm going to go ahead and take you outside, show you the, uh, the tractor chassis, and then um, today we're actually going to be dismounting these tires, so hang tight and uh, let me head on outside. All right, that's the next project. I'm gonna go ahead and fit a uh, Cub snow plow to the A. So I'm gonna build my own, you know, brackets from what's missing and everything. Couldn't beat the deal on it. I uh, got it for 50 bucks, so it was well worth the money. So here is the second coat on the chassis. You know, you see it turned out flawless, except for last night, uh, you know, with the mild warmer temperatures we were getting had a fly land right there and of course he hardened in the paint and this morning when i brushed his carcass away his legs stuck in there so i had to scuff that real easy with some 400 grit got that out um but other than that everything like i said it, it sprayed beautiful um i got this thing painted in half the time that it took yesterday so again People complain about the magic paint um, my opinion it has nothing to really do with the paint I think it has to do with how you spray how you mix all that so um, other than that now I think it it sprays just fine so coverage is really good on it and um, so here's the wheel hub so it turned out nice that'll be in the future segment um gas can is all cleaned out i showed that before doing the tumbler idea with the tractor tire luckily i got um <clears throat> i got lucky on this gas tank it's actually in gorgeous shape um the inside is now rust free the exterior um it's not rusted it's not rusted through um don't really have any dents on it might have a couple little dings here and there kind of like that one um but again for a tank that's been on the tractor for 70 years that thing's in beautiful shape so that'll be a future video when it comes to the body work. But I'm going to go ahead and get outside and get the camera set up. And uh, that way you can make fun of me breaking down these uh, <laughs> these rims and tires. Um, one thing I did do, I'm going to show also when I start putting it together, where the rods go through for the choke um, and where the rod goes through here for the governor. I drilled these out a little bigger. Um, when I start putting them together, I'll have the bags with the grommets with me for the sizes. But I didn't want the rods constantly, you know, going through and tearing the paint off. So I drilled these out to put a grommet in it, and I got the grommet to fit onto the rod perfectly. So once I feed this through, the rubber grommet will go in here, and then when it slides, it'll be nice and smooth. So just little things, you know, now the tractor deserves to go ahead and, um, you know, have a little more attention taken to it. So I think that'll make a big difference. But, um, but yeah, I can't, uh, can't be any happier with it. So, cleaned up the PTO shaft too when I stripped everything down. Um, originally that was all sprayed red. Um, I didn't want it red, I wanted it back to its original metal. And then I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put a little grease on it, put one of the covers on um, that you're supposed to. But everything else, yeah, it uh, is looking good. I'm really getting anxious to get this thing back together. So that's why today I'm jumping on the rims and tires because um, I'm going to go ahead and get those together so that way I can get the uh, get the tires back underneath this thing and you know start making it look like a tractor again. So, all right, well, let me get set up. All right, it's nothing special here. Just have them sitting out by the, the ramp to the door. So we're going to go ahead and start with the smaller ones first. So let me see if I can get this in a good spot here to kind of show what I'm doing. It is definitely about that time today. It is beer 30. So let's get the, uh, the main tool ready. All right, we're good. Mm. 
All right, second tool's ready. We're good. All right. For the most part, the rims look like they're in decent shape on the front. And then the rims on the back. Uh, one of them's in really good shape. The other one I'm a little worried about. I'm gonna find out once I get that tire broke off of there and hopefully it's not rotted through and it hasn't been patched and the paint put over top of it. So obviously I'm gonna find out. I'll be the first to know and you'll be the second to know. Alright, let me find my valve stem tool here. Bit me. All right, and then some of the tools I'm using here I'm going to go ahead and try for the first time. This is the bead breaker. This is actually what I used to get that rear hub off when it was seized on. And then a couple of the 24 inch tire spoons from Harbor Freight for six bucks a piece. Can't beat it. And the breaker bar, I think this was like maybe 18. But again, if it does its job, we're all worth it to me. All right, let me see which way this camera's facing. All right, I'm gonna move these tires out a little bit more. Got a dent right here I gotta repair. Most everybody obviously knows exactly what I'm doing here, but just in case, um, for the people who haven't done this, just a valve stem removing tool, just pulling the stems to go ahead and deflate these. <clears throat> At least these are all small enough I can fit in my sandblast cabinet. The rear rims, I'm not sure. They might be exact size. I'm going to try to get them on my blast cabinet. I like to Cerakote them uh, with my Glacier Chrome Cerakote. I think the color would be nice. But unless I can blast these out here with my, um, yeah, that's one of them. unless I can blast them out here, <clears throat> I'm uh, not going to be able to use my glacier chrome because you need a sandblasted surface for that. I'm going to go ahead and now uh, one of these over here. Hoping I don't have to use the truck to put a board on here break these loose I'm hoping that I can just um, get these to break loose with the bar not sure but again we're gonna find out and I did realize in my videos it gets hard to hear what I'm saying when I'm turning the other way and I apologize for that I do have a uh, microphone ordered from Amazon so once that shows up, actually my wife will order for me. Um, I can clip that on me and that'll help hear what I'm saying. Because once you get in the rhythm and you get working, you don't realize that you're just kind of talking and it sounds like you're mumbling and you're facing the other way and obviously none of you can hear me. So if I'm doing something and if you don't understand what I'm saying, feel free to comment and just ask me what the hell I said. That's fine. This is the rim that I'm more worried about. This one's got a lot of, looks like old rust damage on the inside. So, it sounds pretty solid, but we'll find out once I get these dismounted and see if it's got a patch put inside here anywhere. I did order bigger tires for the back. I think I said it in my last video, but I ordered 11.2 um, but 24s instead of the 9.5s just to make them a little bigger. Same with the fronts. I went with 5s instead of 4s. Alright, just off in my pocket. Alright, see if these little, uh, these little bars I can break this loose.
you know, one thing I need, uh, which would help, would be a hammer. I'll have you right back. Supposed to get some really cold temperatures tomorrow. It's almost 70 degrees out here today. And tomorrow it's supposed to uh, be around 40. So I got the heat rolling to get a little uh, extra warmth in there to get that paint to set up. Yep, that looks like I'm gonna have to get a board. Alright. I'm gonna get a board to break these. I'm gonna hit pause for a moment here. Alright, I'm back. Decided to go to plan uh plan B instead before I break the truck out. I'm gonna use the little bar. Use my digging bar. I should be able to break this bead loose. There we go. Much better. Look at that. Let's see if I can do the same on the other side. There we go. You now I have a feeling. It ain't gonna work that easy for those bigger tires. Uh, all right, that's one. All right, very nice. Uh, it'd be nice if the ground wasn't soft. And I wasn't beating the rims into the into the mud. Obviously, I wouldn't advise doing this on new tires. Just stick with old tires you're tossing for this method. All right. Make sure. Uh, Still in position here to see what I'm doing. Feel free to laugh, like, comment, subscribe, anything you want. Um, obviously, there's numerous different methods to get tires off of rims. I like finding my own method. So far, this one works. I have a feeling this back tires, I'll have to use one of the tried and true methods. Either a steel ramp on the rim, back up with the truck, pop it. Or I'll try that breaker bar. They're pretty dry rot, so they may come off. If I pause the video to start breaking them off, it's because I don't want to look like a total fool trying to get them out. You know how that is. Yeah, that's a good start. Six dollar uh, bead breaker, and it didn't bend yet. Yet. So, so far, worth the six bucks. It came off easy enough. something else I'm gonna do here that I've noticed a lot of people do differently when they paint their rims I know most people go ahead and sand these down 
at least get them in primer. Then they mount the new tire, put the tube in, they air them up, and then they either tape around it or you can put in uh, index cards. They actually can make that radius pretty good and then tape them down and do your painting. I personally am going to mount the new tires, get the tubes in, but before I air them up, I'm going to push them together away from the rim, stuff it with the paper, tape up the new tire, paint everything, then I'm going to air it up. After I remove all that tape, pop it up, shouldn't put any scratches on my rim. In theory, sounds like it'll work. So hopefully it will. I'm not sure. No, actually, I guess it's not. I was gonna see if those rear rims were filled with any kind of calcium or anything, but I'm imagining they're not because when I pulled the plugs, nothing sprayed out. So. I'm good, good to go on that part. Easy peasy. So that's one rim ready for the sandblast cabinet. Put that over there. And put another one in. Ooh. This one has a lot of, well this one was flat when I got the tractor. So this one obviously is gonna have a lot of moisture in it. Maybe sooner I would air it up to try to get this thing rolled in the shop. It was flat by the time I got it in, so it is what it is, right? I'm not worried about the tubes either because obviously new tires. I bought all the new tubes on the front and back. If anybody decides they want new back tires, found a guy on eBay who actually sold those for a really good price. Once I get to that point, I'll bring, uh, bring the tires out and show you what they look like. But I got the tires for, uh, I think, about two... 287 286 each free shipping so that was a, a really good deal and the guy was extremely quick one shipping them out I think I had them in um, I don't know probably three or four days so I'll see if I can obviously find the information for him for you I'm not sure why I got the bright idea to do that backwards I am not a professional tire guy by any means. Motto has always been whatever it takes to get the job done. That, my friend, the job is done. All right, well, I think that should clean up just fine. That's more surface rust than anything, so it doesn't look bad except for that dent right there. But I can beat that dent out. Uh, not looking forward to those. I'm going to get repositioned again here. Get them in shape and then uh, 
show you the uh, removal of these back tires. It's the first time I ever popped those big tires off the rims before. I've done, obviously, small lawnmower tractor tires, stuff like that. Um, the case, when I restored that one, the tires were almost perfect on it. Had no reason to take those back tires off. They were obviously a lot bigger. They were 36 inch rims. These are only 24s. But, uh, yeah, it's be the first time breaking these loose, so hang tight. I'm gonna probably get positioned over here in the sun. Maybe the ground's a little bit harder. All right, so I would say not the worst thing to break off the bead, but with that bead being so tight, yes, use some of the other methods <laughs> from some of the other people on YouTube. Use something to back up um, onto the tire itself to use the pressure of truck, tractor, something to break that bead loose, then start prying it. The bead is extremely tight. I went ahead and used that digging bar. Um, I was finally able to get it in, get it pushed down. It wasn't, like I said, the worst thing in the world. Would have been 10 times easier using the weight of a vehicle or something. So definitely use that method. It's much better. All right, so that one made my cigar go out. So they're calling for 30 mile an hour winds. <clears throat> so the winds are kicking up a little bit. And my windproof lighter is inside, so going for the good old fashioned Bic, and let's just say it ain't working so well right now. Alright, that, uh, that was a struggle, that was about as bad as getting the, uh, the beat off the rim. Alright, apologize for that. Bad at all. <sighs> Sad thing is, I still got the bead on the other side to break loose yet. Prop it up on here. Alright, let me see if I can wiggle this off the screwdriver start. What I mean, the weight of a truck or a tractor, ten times better. Every bit of, but this is a pain in the ass. Say the second tire, I'm gonna get the truck over here. Yep, 
Yeah, and trust me, I'm thinking about it. I'm trying not to get uh, have this end slip up and get hit. If it does that, uh, as I said, luckily it didn't go very far. If it does that, I'm going to be hitting Paul's for a little longer. All right. I'm done fighting with it. I'm back in the truck up. Be back in a second. All right, truck's in position. <clears throat> Unfortunately, I didn't have a short board or a steel ramp, so I'm using a uh, 1 by 12 It's a little long, so I'm hoping I'm going to snap it because it is kind of an old board. We're going to find out, so uh, be prepared to laugh. <laughs> and I'm also here by myself, so I don't have anybody helping me line this thing up. Hopefully that was a uh, good enough for a little laugh there. Seeing the uh, camera flip over. board underneath here. And on another note, this is by everybody. Uh, put the board under here and prop this up. Yeah, much better. Yeah, you know I'd have to say rebuilding the engine was better than taking these tires out.
apparently the tube feels like it's stuck on the rim. Oh yeah, there we go. Boy, she was seriously stuck on that rim. Just when you would think it would just pop loose. It's gonna fight all the way. into the sun it was probably the worst idea much better in the shade it's kind of hard to believe it's gonna be freezing temperatures tomorrow Not sure why I didn't see this to start with. Now I'm thinking when I put these new tubes in here, so these tubes aren't laying on these rivets. I think I'm going to align the inside of this tire with duct tape. So that would be much easier with two people. them now. All right, I'm gonna go get some pliers. Be back. All right, so obviously I figured I'd save the 
embarrassing hard parts for the video. Easy parts, I leave it on pause. Tubes unscrewed. Let's see if I can get anything out of here now. So much easier when the rust is broke loose. You son of a bitch. <laughs> yeah, see all the, uh, see all the, let's see, yeah, see all the rust in there? That, uh, they had that tube in there held pretty good. Now I can say I'm looking forward to, uh, seeing this action video later of the, uh, the camera falling over. It should look pretty cool, huh? Well, you would know. You saw it. Alright, I'll see if I can get the other side of that rim, that tire broke off of there. We're gonna need another beer for that other tire. This is definitely a two beer job. All right. I have that on there backwards, so that's probably gonna pop off for me. If you have a helper for this, use them. I'm just going to go in very short, slow increments here. Doing like a crisscross here works pretty well. See if I can get something under here. There we go. Hold that with the knee. Wonder if it's better to go from the underside. I ain't gonna lie, this part sucks. You guys that have this shit down, breaking these tires off like they're nothing, hats off to you, brothers. thing up see if I can push it from the other side and if you're thinking to yourself this is painful to watch this is painful to do Should have watched more videos on other people taking their tires off. There we go. Oh, you son of a
of a bitch. She's out. It's a good possibility. I'm not gonna film that second room because uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use my other language when it comes to taking that one off. All right, let's see what this thing looks like. Well, for the most part, it's actually not that bad. Clean that up. But yeah, I'm thinking these rivets, I'm gonna go ahead and, uh, I'm probably gonna line this with duct tape. <clears throat> I don't want those touching that other rim. And the other two. These are Firestones, 8 to 24s. All right. Back rim is off. Ah, one more to go. Alright, no knocking the camera over this time. So, went on much better that way. Let's go ahead and uh, get this bead burp loose.
got to make this kind of quick. We got some uh, some storm clouds rolling on in here. So that's that cold front they're talking about. So get this done before uh, before this rolls in. All right, let's get this thing off of here now. Sure, if I mentioned this, but breaking tires down sucks. I have a feeling these Harbor Freight cars are going to bend. If this doesn't bend, I'll be externally surprised. I haven't mentioned that I tell you uh, breaking tires off the rims sucks. In case I forgot to mention that. So that's half the issue right there. That damn thing was rusted solid on there. Oh yeah, yeah. That tube is absolutely completely rusted onto that rim too. You know, it's a toss-up. I'm not sure if it's worse breaking the tire down or getting that goddamn tube off that rim and it's rusted. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. I'm starting to think the tube is actually the worst part.
Well, guess I don't have to work out today. I think this uh, this gave me the workout. Let's see if I can use two spoons here and hold the ring at the same time. Makes it a little easier. In case I haven't mentioned, yes, I got all new tubes also. Thank God. Man, that was so much fun, I want to do that again. Not Clouds are rolling in fast. I guess I better make this kind of quick. You're not telling me that I didn't get a section out of there. Why don't you go back inside that one? Yeah, yeah, I decided. The tubes suck. Tires weren't so bad. this thing just a little bit more. You'd think that air would just uh, escape out of there. Alright, let's try that. Hey, look at that. Switch a little bit more air out. Comes right out. Oh my god. The one for uh, EPA and chemicals. I throw this damn thing in the fire. Sure, there's a quicker method to this, but there is obviously I ain't finding it.
All right, this ain't working so well on this one. I'm gonna lock this thing in place here. All right, I'm gonna get repositioned here. All right, remember what I said earlier? The tubes, hands down, suck worse. We're back to the top. This room sucked out. Oh my. Yep, that's not fun. But it's out. That's all that matters. Alright, well, that concludes the video for today. Next, I'm going to go ahead and see if these are getting the sandblast cabinet. And if they do, um, I'm probably going to go ahead and do that Cerakote. So I'll show you, uh, show you the process of the Cerakoting in these rims afterwards. But other than that, again, thank you for watching. Any tips, tricks, ideas, laughs, whatever, just don't be an ass. Um, feel free to give an idea here. <laughs> if it doesn't help me, obviously, it'll help somebody else. So other than that, that is it. You guys have a good one.